Hello, and welcome to this video tutorial of how to use Track Rhino's file portal version 1.0. During this tutorial, I will talk to you about how to upload and edit your logo, how to upload and change your files, how to create a folder structure, how to create links, and how to see your end user's view. So you will be emailed your credentials by your account manager. Simply use those credentials to log in. Once you've logged in, you will see an entire list of all of your projects. Simply choose the project that you want to work on by clicking it. And when you're here, you will have an option to view files or to view analytics. There will be a separate video for analytics. For now, let's talk about files. So let's click on view files. Once you've clicked this, you will enter what is your builder page. You can at all times see the storage space that you have available through this tab over here. It will show you the total amount of space available in your account and the amount of space that you have already used. You will want to upload your logo and we can do that by clicking on this pencil icon here. And choosing the logo that we want to see in this case. As an example, I will use the logo of Promotional Drives, which is our parent company. You can, at any time during this building process, see what your end users will see by clicking on the button End User View. Here you have it. You will see the file portal. There are no files since we haven't uploaded anything yet, but you will see the logo that we just uploaded. So to add files, what you can do is you can either drag your files here, or you can simply click this drop down menu here, click upload file, choose file, and then add any file that you want. So let's use this as an example. And I uploaded this file. What you can also do is drag and drop multiple files. So let's take all of these files. Actually, let's take these files and simply drag them onto the builder, and there you have it. Click refresh to see the full effect. Here are all the files. Once your files are here, you can choose to view the file or delete them. So if you want to view it, that's what this file is. And again, you can see what the end user view is by clicking on that end user view button. Now, remember, you can always delete the files that your end users view. And the way you do that is on your builder, simply choose delete. Once you've done that, they will no longer be available for your end user to view. You can also create folders on your file portal. To do that, Simply click the drop down menu and choose create folder. You can give the folder any name that you like. In this case, let's call it tutorial. Click create folder. Like the files, you can choose to view it or you can choose to delete it. In order to add files to your folder, simply click view and add files the way we did before. So what we can do is we can just drag these three files and add them to the folder. Now, to go back to the page you were at, we will simply click View Project. And we are back at the Builder. And we can now see the end user view. This is what the end user sees. Here's all the files. And here is the folder that we just created. You can also create links to websites that your end users go to. To do that, simply click on the drop down menu here, choose Create Link, and you can start creating by giving it a name, choose the URL, and you can choose an icon. So let's begin by calling it Website Link. And the link must contain the HTTP. Let's, for the purposes of this tutorial, create HTTP facebook.com. And for the link icon, you can choose any icon you like. In this case, I will choose Facebook icon. And you add link. 
Once you do that, you'll be able to see it here. And again, you can check how it works by end user view and simply clicking on it will take you to Facebook. Finally, if you want a trick on how to see the video on mobile, it's actually a really neat trick if you are a Windows user and a Chrome user. So you click on end user view, you click, you uh, click shift and I, and there you have it. This is mobile view and it's fully uh, immersible so you can interact with it by clicking into, into and out of files and opening files and open folders, so on and so forth. And another really neat trick about this is that you can actually see which phone you are looking at. So for example, this is the view on an iPhone X, but if you wanted to see what it looks like on a Pixel 2, you simply choose Pixel 2 from the drop down here. So that is the tutorial for File Portal version 1.0. If you have any special requests or any feature requests that you'd like to see us build, please email your account manager to let him or her know. And if you have any special requests that you'd like for us to try and perform for you, we'd be happy to give it a shot. Again, just email your account manager and they will look into it for you. Thank you for watching this tutorial and have a fantastic day using Track Rhino.